Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at how you can customise Aurelia and Musician content. Specifically, how to create your own syllabus. The syllabus feature is very powerful. You can create and save your own levels for any topic, then assign the syllabus to your classes and use the content in any tests. Levels can include our generated content or library drills. It's very flexible. How you decide to structure your syllabus is entirely up to you, but here are some ideas that may be worth considering. At college level, instructors will often have a syllabus for each unit code or semester, and then levels for each week of the course for all the relevant topics. For example, we have created a syllabus called Ear Training 101. In the intervals topic, we have 12 levels, organised by week. Once a syllabus like this has been created, it's very easy for instructors to create weekly worksheets, tests and homework tasks that draw from this syllabus. Within middle and high schools, teachers may create a syllabus that caters for a specific year level or they may create a level structure that is based around state curriculum content. In this case, we have created a syllabus called CSMTA, Connecticut State Music Teachers Association. We have three levels in our interval recognition topic. We're now going to create our own syllabus. Select New Syllabus and type in a name. There are many options for each syllabus. We like to allow teachers to decide what's best for their students, but we will only look at the most important options today. Firstly, rhythm terminology. Choose from US style or UK style. If you wish, you can choose both. The software then chooses randomly for each question. Secondly, please choose the solfege type. Fixed do, movable do, or movable do la, where the tonic in minor is la. We'll now add some content by creating levels for various topics. Ensure that your new syllabus is selected and you'll see a list of topics in the middle of the screen. We're going to add a couple of levels to the interval recognition and rhythmic dictation topics. We won't add levels to every topic, there are more than 80 topics across Aurelia and Musician, we simply don't have time. It's important to note that creating such a small number of levels is not that unusual. Many teachers only need to add a few custom levels. They use the included levels for the bulk of their student work. We've chosen interval recognition and then created a new level. I'm going to call my level week one. I can add a description and then select edit. This is where I choose all my generated content. Week one of intervals, I'll simply choose perfect fourths, perfect fifths and unison intervals, ascending only. I'll have a fixed starting note of middle C. You'll notice that there are many options on these level editing screens. The software is very flexible, making it easy to give your students the most appropriate content. Now I need to create week two for my class. I could select new level and enter all my content. However, there is a better way. Instead, I'll copy my week one level, rename it week two, and then edit it. Doing this saves me time. All of my content from the previous week is already there. I simply add my new intervals. We'll now add a level to rhythmic dictation. Week 1. The process is the same. Select the topic, create a new level, enter the level name, and then edit. However, in this case, I want to use some questions from our library as well as the generated content. Firstly, we'll choose the generated content. 
you'll notice that the options in this rhythm topic are very different. I'm going to choose rhythms in 4-4 four, four, using quarter notes and eighth notes. And the examples will be two bars long. The default tempo range is fine, but I will include some basic tuplets. If I wanted to use some other time signatures, the note values are all chosen independently, making it easy to create appropriate levels. Now it's time to include some library drills. Before choosing my questions, I'll adjust the slider that controls the ratio of generated questions to library questions. I really like the new library content, so I'll choose that for 60% of the questions that my students will see. Now, when I choose Edit, I'll enter the screen where I select the library questions. I can easily search for content, and then preview questions before putting them into my level. Generally, you would choose quite a few questions, but today I'll keep things simple and just select four. Okay, we've now got a custom syllabus with some levels in two topics. To make the syllabus available to your students, select People, choose one or more classes, then enable the syllabus Music 101. On the Practice screen, students can now select our syllabus and you'll notice that only the relevant topics are shown. This means less distractions for your students. Many teachers don't need to create their own syllabus from scratch. It's quite common for teachers to want to tweak one of our syllabuses. We don't allow you to do this. However, we do allow you to copy any of the included syllabuses. Once you've done this, it's yours. You can edit, add and delete any of the levels. Simply choose the syllabus that you would like to modify, select copy and then rename it appropriately. Now that you have your own syllabus, you can use this content in the tests and courses that you create for your students. There are other Aurelia and Musician training videos that explain these features in detail. Thanks for watching.